and girls, welcome to PE with Mr. P. I am Mr. P. Today we have an awesome full body hit workout we're going to be going through. We're going to be talking a little bit about mental health at the end, but first I got to introduce you to my friend Snowflake. So this is Snowflake. She is very playful and loves hanging out with other cats and actually likes people as well. You don't see that very often with cats. So this is our friend Snowflake from Bandage Paws. Up next, we're gonna get straight into our HIIT workout. This is a full body workout, so we're working our legs, our core, and our upper body. Uh, we're gonna run through a warm up, and then I'm gonna show you the exercises we're doing. So to get started, we're just gonna be jogging on the spot, nice and easy. Oh, just saw a bunch of deer poop right here, so I'll be aware of that. So just jog on the spot, make sure we're moving our arms a bit. Now we can speed it up. Speed it up a little bit. Get nice and warm. Might not look like I'm going very fast, but it feels like I am. All right, now we're gonna go high knees. Try to get those knees up. Get her legs moving, get the blood flowing. We're in spring right now, so it's plus 14. Feeling the heat. Gonna have to wear a hat here pretty soon. And butt kicks. Good, up next we're just gonna take our arms, pick a direction. Start small, and we're gonna get bigger and bigger. And back to small. Go nice and fast. Good, switch directions. Start off small, getting bigger and bigger. And back to small. Good, just do some trunk rotations. Get our core and our back warmed up a bit. Now we're just gonna reach. I'm gonna take my right hand, reach towards my left foot. I'm gonna have a bit of a bend in my knee just because I'm very inflexible. If you guys and girls need to do that as well, that is fine. Good job. Uh, if you need a better warm up, there's lots of good warm ups out on YouTube, on the channel, wherever you can find it. But if we're good, then we're just gonna get started here. So we have eight exercises and I'm gonna walk you through them. Then when I tell you we're good to go, we're gonna get started. We're gonna go through all the exercises four times. We have four different sets. You're gonna work for 20 seconds, take a 10 second rest. Once you run through the eight exercises, you get a full minute. Grab some water, stand up, move around, and then we're gonna get right back to it. The whole workout takes just under 19 minutes. So here we go. We're gonna start with a reverse lunge. So we're gonna take a back step, drop the knee, and then I'm gonna step back forward, switch legs. Just like that. I try to get my knee down to the ground while keeping this knee behind the toes. So those are reverse lunges and then a mountain climber. I'm going to be in a push-up position and I'm just going to be driving my knee up. It's a little tougher on grass. I'm going to be sliding all over the place. That's okay. And then we're going to do a heel reach. So we're on our back. I have my knees up in the air like this head back and I'm just going to be touching my heel on each foot. So, you're going to need to be in a flexed position on your back so my shoulder blades aren't on the ground. And I'm just moving side to side. You're going to really feel that in your core. Followed by a plank up. So you're going to start in a plank position and you're going to go up. Then you're gonna go down. Then you're gonna go up. Then you're gonna go down. Just like that, make sure we're alternating hands 
Uh, make and uh, just make sure we're trying to stay strong in our core. It's gonna be easy to start to put your butt up and get all over the place. Try to hold your core nice and strong. After that, we're gonna do some push-ups. So down in a similar position. I'm just gonna do uh, whatever works best for me. So knees off the ground. And I'm gonna be pacing myself. We're focusing on good push-ups, not speed. If you need to modify them on your knees, totally fine, please do so. If those are too easy, you can make a diamond with your hands. Uh, that's gonna work your inner chest and your triceps a bit more. Followed by a T rotation. So, I'm down on one. I'm basically in a side plank, hands up like this. I'm gonna rotate over. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Try to hold your core really strong. Personally, I think my footwork's a little messed up, but however you roll over is good. I take a few short little choppy steps, and then we're doing a Russian twist. Nope. I don't have a weight or anything. You don't need a weight. If you have something small like a milk jug or a soup can, you can use that. But I'm gonna be in a somewhat flexed position. I got my feet off the ground. If that's too tough, just try to hold it. If that's too tough, just try to keep your feet off the ground. Work with something, try to see what works best for you. And then a jump twist. So I'm gonna be facing straight. I'm gonna jump, jump. Just like that. So I'm twisting at my hips and my back. Nice and quick. All right, I need a rest already. So when we get back, we're starting at the very top. Set one, exercise one. We're working for 19 minutes. You get a few rests in there and we'll be done. I'll see you in a minute. All right, five seconds. We're starting with a reverse lunge. ourselves into a push-up position. Push-ups coming up next. Good job, everybody. We're just holding ourselves strong as we can. And 
and Russian twist. And jump twist. Good job. We got a minute. Get a drink. Woo. Try to stay standing up. I'm gonna step on this poop for sure. Stay standing up. Get get some water. Woo. So when we're back, we're starting with reverse lunge again. All right, three seconds, let's go. Climbers, good job, everybody. And Russian twist. Coming up. 
last exercise of the round. Good work. One minute rest, we're halfway done. Whew. All right. Does anybody know where rabbits go after they get married? Where do rabbits go after they get married? They go on a bunny moon. They go on a bunny moon. Like a honeymoon, bunny moon. You can never tell if these jokes land or not. That's okay. We got reverse lunges coming up next. Climbers. twist. Two more left of this set. Good work. more exercise for this set. Alright, 
right, everybody, one minute rest, and we got one more set. Make sure to stay standing. You don't want to be sitting down. Get some water in you. We got about 20 seconds left, then we're finishing up strong. Five seconds reverse lunge. And mountain climbers. I forget how much harder it is to keep your balance on grass. First three, four. Push-ups. Good job, everybody. Four more left. Russian twist. Good job. Two more left, guys. everybody
All right, guys and girls, get a quick rest, get some water. When I get back, we're gonna talk a little bit about mental health. See you soon. All right, guys and girls, welcome back. I had to go fill my water bottle up and take a little rest, but that's okay. I'm sure you guys and girls did the same. All right, we are gonna talk a little bit about healthy habits. I have three right now that we're gonna talk about. So number one is just to schedule some me time, right? Some of us have very busy lives. Some of you are going to school. Some of you have a job on top of that and other responsibilities. So it's important, even if you have half an hour, you can set aside, set aside 30, 30 minutes and do something that you really enjoy. That's kind of healthy for you, right? So maybe that's you going and meditating, doing some yoga, exercising, reading a book, uh, whatever it is that you enjoy, try to set some time for yourself every day, right? Some of us get into this rhythm of just stacking stuff on top of each other and you don't want to wait for every Saturday to do something fun for yourself. You want to be doing something daily, uh, which leads us to the next one. Sometimes you need to reward yourself. Uh, some workouts I really don't want to do. With this nice weather, I'm actually really enjoying coming outside and doing it. So my reward is just to be outside. I think that one kind of goes hand in hand. But some days I have to tell myself, all right, you get this workout done, I'm going to go home. I'm going to get some Subway, right? I'm going to treat myself with Subway or something else that I really enjoy that I'm not going to do every day. Otherwise, I'm going to be giving Subway 100 bucks a week if I go there every time I do a workout, which we kind of want to avoid. And the last one is try to choose a positive attitude. I understand lots of things can be going on and it's tough to tell for me to tell someone to choose to be happy, but sometimes you just have to look at a situation and realize there are positives from it and maybe I just need to come out of that with a better attitude and try to think of some of the good things that might come out of a not so great situation. All right, so that's all I got for you guys and girls today. Thank you very much for joining me. Enjoy your day.